Why Chernobyl is again in news these days and what was this Chernobyl disaster which happened historically? So Chernobyl is close, very very close to the Russian border, close to the Belarus as well and from Chernobyl it's just nearly two and a half to three hours for Kiev which is the capital of Ukraine and therefore the attack from the side of uh, Russia through Chernobyl is one of the reasons because it marks the easy entry and is adjacent to the border area. Now, Chernobyl, why it is in news and why it was historically significant. So, in 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster happened and that was during a safety test which was run in Chernobyl. However, this was one of the reasons which led to Ukraine getting independent or republic and that happened in 1991. So, uh, as of now, if we focus on to the region of Ukraine, there are four nuclear reactors, nuclear power plants with 50 15 reactors that are running and this 15 reactors and 4 nuclear power plant actually generate 50% of the electricity requirement of Ukraine. The present 4 functional uh, nuclear plants are at Ravine, Kelemensky, South Ukraine and Zaporizhia. However, Chernobyl is now inactive and then there are plans for another 4 which are marked in black dots as we can see here. Ukraine's power capacity is 12th in terms of the installed capacity worldwide standing to nearly 54 gigawatts. So nuclear power is one of the major bases for Ukraine and therefore it becomes very important to understand what was Chernobyl disaster and historically what had been the significance. Now this disaster actually took place in the reactor number 4 on 26th April 1986. This Chernobyl lies very close to Pripyat uh, which is the city, the closest city to Chernobyl as you can see in the map here and this is the area where maximum impact of this disaster was witnessed. Now there have been two disasters so far which have been ranked on a severity scale of maximum which is 7 and those are the Chernobyl disaster of 1986 and the Fukushima Daiichi disaster uh, of 2011. So Fukushima of 2011 which brought uh, which happened in Japan but, but brought the tsunami waves onto the Pacific coast of United States as well. So that was the impact of uh, the Fukushima and it also affected the, uh, the, the radioactive impact onto the sea in the region of Japan was significant. Now coming back to Chernobyl, how this casualty or this disaster actually took place. As we mentioned, it was just a safety test. So the people here were indicated to do a safety run on the Chernobyl nuclear reactor 4. Now during this plant uh, safety test what happened the power of the nuclear reactor decreased. Now since they were decreasing the power of the nuclear reactor it unexpectedly dropped to near zero. Now when it dropped to near zero, the operators were unable to bring back or bring up the power supply again. So it was very close to zero and as a result, uh, the uh, no further instructions were sent to the operators what to do. So they continued and proceeded with the test. Now this led to a, a kind of tr uh, trigger for the reactor shutdown. Now they thought that this is a reactor shutdown but actually it was an uncontrolled chain reaction that happened and as a result numerous and enormous amount of energy got released. Now, it not only uh, melted the core, but also it ruptured the, the, the core of the reactor along with uh, the reactor building itself. And 70% of the reactor fallout was witnessed in the neighboring, uh, neighboring country of Belarus during that time. Also, uh, the explosions led to significantly higher level of contamination, radioactive contamination in the air and it continued for nearly 9 days. 
the situation was so difficult that it was uh, it was significantly difficult to control the amount of radioactive waste and radioactive pollutants which were released into the atmosphere uh, around thousands were uh, affected or were the casualty to this disaster but later on it was nearly 93000 cancer deaths which were witnessed in the nearby region this region was declared as chernobyl exclusive zone so this 30 kilometer radii around chernobyl was abandoned and this region was considered as a region where uh, no human habitation was witnessed for that period but again after 2011 this region has this abandoned region has been uh, opened up for visitors especially the city of Pripyat has been uh, opened up for visitor tour uh, since 2011 now it was not just that during that nine days that uh, radioactive waste actually uh, was seen into the atmosphere but it was the sarcophagus which is uh, which was built now this was again a massive steel and concrete co uh, construction which was done over the reactor to actually uh, keep the radioactive levels within those region so this sarcophagus was constructed over the nuclear site but Again, the people could not go there and actually uh, do it. So this was a mobile structure which was built and later on installed with uh, remote screws and with the, uh, with, uh, with the technology, remote screws were tied in order to have this sarcophagus established there. Now this, uh, this construction was so important that it started, the disaster took, in the, uh, took place in April till 9 to 10 days it was an extreme amount of radioactivity which was seen and the region was asked to be abandoned then later on uh, within may itself the construction for this sarcophagus started but it was completed only in the month of december and then installed still then uh, nearly 200 tons of lava like corium radioactive corium uh, was within that sarcophagus uh, nearly 30 tons of contaminated dust and nearly 16 tons of uranium and plutonium has been within that sarcophagus now because of that the, the walls and the concrete structure started to corrode and there was a need to uh, bring in another sarcophagus over the existing sarcophagus so uh, in 2016 a new safe confinement was moved over the old sarcophagus and chernobyl which lies in the exclusion zone exclusion zone uh, became one of the major uh, centers to understand that even after so many years the impact of that radioactive waste is uh, or the radioactive release is so immense on the peripheral region uh, the exclusive zone which was created around the chernobyl is nearly the size of the nation luxembourg so that was a huge exclusion zone which was cre uh, created and this is the new sarcophagus as you can see here so this is reactor number four and on this reactor number four you would have a new sarcophagus which would be a completely mobile structure brought on rails and established there and within this there are plans to actually uh, uh, dismantle the uh, the old one the old sarcophagus uh, within this new sarcophagus uh, so far the radioactive material has not been uh, retired from the old sarcophagus and uh, that would be taking place as of now so these are some of the highlights of the new sarcophagus the durability it says is nearly 100 years is the structure of the new sarcophagus as we said the chernobyl disaster and the related history to it becomes extremely important in light of the the uh, the march towards ukraine and the capture of uh, uh, the region of Chernobyl. So this was what we have covered in this section. We have some of the links which are available in the description below. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to post those in the comment section. Thank you very much for joining.